Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about the quest Operation Elbrus and we're going to do as many steps as is possible for the first week. So for the first step of this quest, you have to get some psychogenic intel. Now if we go ahead and open up our inventory here, the maximum amount of psychogenic intel that you can hold is apparently 2000 and it is used to decode and open the runic chests awarded after PSYOPs Battlegrounds. Psychogenic intel is found by completing any activity or throne world, throne world campaign mission. Now, I will say that you do just get psychogenic intel from killing enemies as well. So it's not simply just activities. So I don't recall currently how many psychogenic intels you have to, uh, you have to get for the first quest step. But once you obtain enough of them, I think it's something like 200. Um, then you will be prompted for this next step here, and it's telling you to do the PsyOps Battlegrounds. Now, an interesting thing is, if we go to Destinations, the first PsyOps Battleground that we went to was on the EDZ. So we go through and we look here. This is the PsyOps Battlegrounds that I went into trying to progress the quest, but it turns out that that isn't the right spot. So if you read a little further on the card there, it does actually say that uh, it's in the Helm. So we're going to go back to Destinations, go to the helm we're going to scroll up to the top here and we're going to see this playlist here the psyops battlegrounds playlist and this one requires 1500 base power the other one only requires 1350 so we're going to go ahead and complete one of these psyops missions and we are going to loot the runic chest now it should be noted that it says we will face barrier and unstoppable champions in this activity so just be aware of that for yourself and your fire team Okay, we've come to the end here. Ah, all right. So there is an extra chest right at the end here. So we can see this one on the right-hand side. Wow, it costs 500 psychogenic intel. And you can only open four, I guess, before you have to go do more activities. So we go ahead and open that. And then we go over here and we collect our regular loot. And then let's check the next quest step. All right, so I think I just made a mistake. Uh, step one was to get the psychogenic intel. Step two was to open the chest. I presume step three was to go into my seasonal challenges here, week one, and then go to the psychogenic decoder here and claim this reward, which gave me an insight, which I can use to upgrade the war table. And then now we're on step four. So my mistake uh, for skipping that step. All right. So now let's head to the helm and go to the war table to upgrade it. All right, so we're about to interact with the helm here, with the war table. Um, so we're going to open up the upgrade section here. And in the upgrade section, it looks like we get to choose between the two. So this option here allows you to get high stat roll armor, which I'll show you in just a second. And this one here just allows you to get more psychogenic intel easier from completing activities and campaign missions on the throne world. I'm going to go ahead and select this one, but I will show you how you would farm out the armor. So to farm out the armor, all you're going to do is dismiss this uh, section here. We are going to uh, accept. Actually, I'm just going to not accept this transmission for a sec. Um, we're going to go through to the right, so the second page. And here we're gonna see the Umbral Focusing Armor section. So once you have acquired each of these uh, pieces of armor once on a specific character, you can then go through and pay what you see on screen now in Umbral Ingram, 25 Legendary Shards, and four Risen Umbral Energy, which you get from decrypting the last chest um, in the PsyOps Battlegrounds. Um, so you can go through and spend those resources to get some high stat armor if that is something that you need. I didn't go for that because I already have a bunch of armor sets and I have a bunch of high stat armor in my vault from Iron Banner and things like that. So let's go ahead and check the transmission here to con to continue with our quest. Okay, so we've. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this mission briefing. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and claim that quest after the cutscene. So we got some more psychogenic intel. And it looks like there's another cutscene. And that brings us to step seven here. And that is the end of the quest for this week. Uh, it looks like it's gonna, going to be like the one from last season where we can only progress it uh, a few steps at a time until we complete the entire thing. So I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.